all here? You can smile. You don't know how to do that? Don't let me scare you, right? All right. So we can all, we, you know, we can do a Tanzanian service today if you want. We go out under the tree out there. You don't know like to do that? No. Okay. All right. So I <coughs> That's right, it's not raining, so there you go, we'll be okay. Anyway, just to highlight a few things, uh, let's see, basically, if you need giving envelopes, make sure that uh, you sign up for those, and we'll get those for you from the office. And then uh, Children's Worship, we're going to have a meeting right after church for those who volunteer. We can always use a couple more people. We're going to have a Children's Worship starting next Sunday during, uh, basically, they'll be in here for a time, and then they'll leave here, and the children will. And they'll go back into the fellowship area and have basically some praise and worship time and then a Bible story and then some crafts. So if you would like to be a part of that, we're going to meet down front here for a few minutes right after church today. And then women's Bible study starting up this Tuesday, 930, talking about the beloved uh, disciple, talking about the life of John, life and ministry of John. And then if uh, our giving statements have been mailed out, if you've got any corrections, please contact Sue in the office and she will correct them for you or get the information that you need. And also we're going to be trying today, uh, we're going to try and, and talk to Megan Hickson. Now she's going to be eight hours ahead of us, so it's going to be about seven o'clock at night, a little bit after seven, uh, when we talk to her. We tried this on Tuesday, it worked. That doesn't mean it's going to work today, but it did work Tuesday. So basically, you will be able to hear her. Uh, we're going to, she'll be on a, a computer. She'll be able to see us, but we won't be able to see her, but we'll be able to hear her. So we're going to be doing that in the next few minutes. So thank you for being here today. Glad you got a nice warm place to come to. And so let's uh, go to the Lord in worship. I want you to stand up, please. We'll sing number 499, is that correct? Number 499, speak the words. Open our eyes, Lord. Pray for him 
and on the others who are on here, and praise the Lord for the ones who have recuperated from different things. So let's go to the Lord in prayer. Lord, we thank you that uh, you're taking care of all these things. And, uh, you know, we've got a lot of situations. We've heard about uh, accidents this week and uh, people who have different uh, health situations. And uh, either they're on the front end or in the middle of it and they're coming out of it. We thank you for that, that you are faithful through all these things and protection and uh, providing and doing uh, all that you can do. Help us always to continue to look to you and to follow you and to love you and to serve you. And, you know, at times when we're sitting there and we're afraid that you told us, fear not. Don't be afraid because I'm right there with you. I'm never leaving you. So help us, even in the middle of these situations, not to be afraid. Well, even if we are afraid, we know that we can trust you and give you that fear as well as everything else. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So remain standing. We're going to sing number 629. 629.
So just uh, tell us a little bit about what's going on there and uh, the monies that we sent, how you uh, determined how to use them, and just give a little update on how things are going. Very dangerous situation. 
So our goal was to stabilize him and then refer him out to where he could get surgery. Um, but we couldn't get it. Despite our best nurses, um, we had a bus who was so dehydrated, we couldn't get any IVs in him. We tried feeding him with syringes, but um, he would cough everything and then he would stop breathing and would require some rescue for breath. Um, so it was a very difficult situation. But this mom, who I thought was a very, um, a very hardcore mom, the way she was dressed, she was very open to me praying with her. Um, and so, in, in, in which you know, we prayed several times because there were many times where we thought the baby was going to make it. Um, and after talking with her, um, and, and we decided that first thing that in the morning she would go to Uganda, which is a hospital about a seven hour um, bus ride. But there wasn't a bus until the morning, so the child was up to me every time. And I had previously went on ahead and given her some to help pay for the fare to go. Um, the patient is free for would be free for the child, but it would be very expensive for her. Uh, it would be it would be it would cost a good bit for them to be able to to, to make it there. Um, it's not not much in our in our in, in our term, you know, from what we're used to, but for them it's a it's a, it's a lot. So pray with her, and she um, and she was. I, I, before I left for the day, and this was a, after a very long day, and my brain was rather weary, so my sluggy was on, was struggling. But um, we uh, had a really neat conversation. I we talked about heaven um, because her child I didn't think was going to make it at that point, um, and I had no idea that they were going to be able to make it to Uganda Hospital. Um, and so we just talked about heaven and what he would experience if that's the case. But we also talked about God is good and He is bigger than this and he can, he can um, heal this child. So, um, and then she was very open to hearing more. She really liked like, talking about that. And so I went on ahead and explained and just shared the gospel with her um, and the hope we have in Jesus. And um, she listened and she was very interested. And I said, have you ever thought about following Jesus? And she's like, yes. And of course, I'm just so shocked because that is not a, 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 an answer we get often, ever. Um, and so, I then explained a little bit more, you know, how you repent from your sin, and, you know, and, and she, and I said, also, this means that you would have to turn from Islam completely, and that's when she kind of walked a little bit, um, and then she was like, oh, well, our gods are the same, um, you know, we say, yeah, we're human, we do wrong things, but we do good things, and that's how we get to heaven, and of course, I'm thinking, okay, that's not what I said, but, um, you know, that is why our gods are different. Jesus. And so she went on and she said something about, um, oh, I forgot to mention when I said if she had thought about following Jesus, she said, she I couldn't completely understand, but it sounded, she used the word darkness. Um, and she used the word, like, it sounded like she was in darkness and she was seeking, um, she was seeking something. Um, and that's what led her to our hospital. She actually lives in another part of the country. Okay, if you all have any questions that you would like to ask the maiden. Nobody. <laughs> all right, so Maggie, how can we pray for you to uh, help you in your situation? She froze. She froze. She froze, huh? Yep. Maggie, you have frozen, and we cannot hear you. No, she's frozen. Buffering. Not frozen, okay? Buffering. <laughs> Not she's buffering. I know. Believe me. We, this, this does not phase us in the least. We understand this. I think so. Yeah, from Kigoma, Tanzania. That's where she's at. <laughs> oh, no, we lost her. Okay. It was a long night. <laughs> 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 a long that night. That's still playing? I don't know. Sounds like it. Sounds like it. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Are you there? Are you there? No, it's gone completely. She's gone okay. completely. All right. So Can that you hear us the story? <laughs> to be continued. To be continued. Ah, yeah, to be continued. To be continued. There you go. 
Anyway, you got to hear a little bit about what she gets to do. And a lot of the people that they treat in that hospital are from a Muslim background. And so this is a great platform, a great way to impact their lives in a practical way, but it also opens up opportunities to talk about Jesus Christ to the people. And so we, as we give to her and as we pray and, and do back. other things, we are helping support her in this work so that they can reach the people in that area, which is a great impact. And how would y'all like to drive? Some days it seems that way. How would you have, like to have to drive seven hours to get to a hospital just to get treatment? I mean, you can run here. You can go to Orangeburg, which is, what, 30 minutes? Or you can go into Charleston, which is an hour, approximately. But for seven hours, one way just to get to the hospital, that's, that's a long way. So let's pray for Maggie right now. And uh, we'll, we'll tell her what happened. She's probably figured it out. Now. But her internet dropped her. Her internet, okay. That makes total sense to me. It makes me feel better. <laughs> Anyway, so let's pray for Maggie right now. Lord, we thank you for Maggie and for the impact that she is having on the people uh, through the hospital in Kigoma. And I ask that you would just continue to, as we help support her, but also pray for her, that we can give her the necessary resources and the encouragement and the help and the strength that she needs so that she can continue there to minister to the people uh, at, their, at their highest point of need especially in the medical area. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Dan, do you want to try again? She said she's, she's doing a hot, she did a hot spot if we want to, so she can finish her story. Okay, yes, all right. <laughs> all right, Maggie, we pray for you. Maggie, finish. Now we have Paul Harvey, the rest of the story. <laughs> Here we go. She's probably using her phone. That, yeah, that's what a hot and spot And you can is. set that up as a, call a hot spot, and it goes through your phone and email. Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and finish your story. Yeah, you're going to be Paul Harvey. Give us the rest of the story. <laughs> um, she, what was she was in darkness. She was in darkness. darkness. Okay, okay. Uh, good, so that was, that, that was too hard to um, So, yeah, she, she uh, said she, it sounded like she was in, saying she was in darkness and she was seeking services um, here, and that's what led her to Kigoma. Because she lived in a very, she lived far away. She lived in Morabora, which is quite a ways away from us. Um, and that's what led her to come here during some difficulties with her pregnancy and to come back with her baby. Um, and then she went, she said a whole lot of things that I wish I could be able to tell you that I understood, but I was completely lost. But um, I went on to continue to explain. Uh, I shared my testimony and what the Lord had done um, and just shared further, um, tried to clarify some issues that she had thought, um, you know, how we um, have our relationship with God, how, it, how it's restored through Jesus. And she, um, I asked again, you know, is this something that you would like to do, to, 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 turn from, to, to, to choose to follow Jesus? Um, and she said, yes, but not now. I just have so much on my mind. And, and I don't think she was feeling well. Um, but I have a book that our teammate has given to me. Um, it's called Njili, um, and which means gospel. And it's a it's the New Testament, but it's a dialogue. So half of it is in Swahili. Uh, so it's in Swahili and Arabic. Um, and it reads similar to the Quran. It's kind of it reads backwards like the Quran does. Um, and I gave it to her, and because she. Most women here can't read. Um, the education is very low, but she was from another part of the country, and she could read well. Um, and I just turned to John, and I said, I think we should start here, given our conversation. Um, and she said, now? And I was like, well, whenever you want. She's like, I'm going to read this tonight. Um, and so, unfortunately, because she isn't from here, I wasn't able to follow up with her. Um, and so I did hear that the baby made it, and they left first thing in the morning. Um, they, they, she survived the night, um, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure what happened after she left at the hospital. But because of your giving, I think that it, has, it opened up that door to be able to have further conversations with her. Um, and, um, and so you were, you were, 
that she's uh, God is using her in Kigoma, Tanzania, through the medical field to reach people to the Lord Jesus Christ. All right, let's stand, please. We're going to sing our offertory hymn. Number 335, Standing on the Promises. Number 335. Everyone stand. Yeah, we got stand. 